Hey everyone, Arcology's here. I thought it might be kind of fun to kind of quickly go over a quick and easy way to kind of get that 90s basic channel-y dub techno vibe in Reason um, using Thor, um, Dr. Octorex, and the vocoder. The vocoder is kind of a underappreciated and underrated tool in dub techno. Um, what I did here is I created a quick patch in um, Thor and I'll share this project file for anyone that is interested. Um, just check the description below. Um, but let's go ahead and quickly listen to it, just like a quick loop. So yeah, you get the idea. So as I mentioned, um, the three main components here are a synthesizer, and in this instance, we're using Thor, and a vocoder, and we're just using the stock vocoder, the BVS-512, which is super easy and I think sounds great. Um, and then Dr. Octorex. So if we look at the back of this rack here, and I apologize for all the wires and crazy routing, it's, it's not the cleanest thing. But if you look at the back of the vocoder, and, and this, this, these concepts here really apply to um, any DAW that offers uh, kind of side chaining into a vocoder and whatnot. I would imagine hardware as well. I I've used a hardware vocoder on the um, Nord Modular G1, and it's basically the same thing, the same concept. In the carrier input, you're feeding in your synth sound, and that's the synth sound that you want to infect the modulator sound. And typically, a modulator sound here is going to be, you know, a voice from a microphone. But in this instance, we're going to be using Dr. Octorex to feed into that. So if I show my cables here, as you can see, I have my Thor output going into the carrier input, and I have my Dr. Octorex output going into the modulator input. And the way it works is, is you have, and we'll, actually you can just, let's play, the wet, let's play the dry sound here so you can get an idea of what the normal loop sounds like without the vocoder. Apologies for that, that was really loud. Um, so if we put it up full wet, much better. So what it's doing is you have Dr. Octorex feeding into this, and you have the Thor synth uh, using this whatever sequence you put down here, this uh, step sequence and the pattern matrix sequencer. Um, when you combine all that, you get these, you know, you'll get the dub techno sound. And you can change the matrix pattern sequencer up if you want. We'll put them all up. But I don't really like doing that. And then you can adjust these uh, vocoder frequencies in the frequency band. And you don't have to use four. I just like using four. Um, you can use all the way up to uh, 32. By adjusting these uh, frequency bands and, and even the adjusting the decay and attack here, I mean, you really start getting, and even this high frequency emphasis, um, you really start getting different sounds. Of course, you can adjust the filters. Yeah, so that's kind of the gist of it. I mean. Uh, these loops that are that are in Dr. Octorex, these aren't like dub techno loops, um, but you can, I mean, if we go in here into the browser, let me go into uh, Reason Sounds, I'm sorry, Factory Sounds, Dr. Octorex Patches, and we go to Percussion. So we just pull in like uh, one of these percussion uh, patches here, and this is just going to load up here. I'll play the, uh, the dry signal. So that's just like kind of a crazy percussion. Um, But when you start uh, using the vocoder with the synth and you turn the wet all the way up, it's you got you get, you know you get yourself a pretty cool sound. And at that point, it's just kind of a matter of you know messing with the mat the matrix pattern sequencer here, getting a sound that you like and a pattern that you like. Um, yeah. 
these other, uh, you know, I have some other effects here. This is like distortion. You know, these are all just this dub Delayla. That's just in the factory collection as well. Um, this is just a preset hint of chorus with some adjustments. I'll share all these. I'll share this project file. And then I have um, over here, I have a send going to um, this Echo fourth ping pong. That's just another, I mean, that's just another kind of dub techno uh, preset in the factory library. Yeah, so anyways, um, once, you know, it's a good starting point. If you want to check it out, go for it. Um, hope you found this useful. But if you ever have any questions, just uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments. And, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Take care, everyone.